draw subgroup diagram of z6 of the group g which is z6 with respect to addition modulo 6 okay so how will i draw the diagram so first i know that uh, z6 has following subgroups so what are the subgroups of z6 we know that the following the subgroups of z6 is first subgroup which is h1 which is the just identity which is the smallest subgroup then second subgroup is if i consider h2 is equal to 0 bar and 3 bar this is also one subgroup then next subgroup is h3 equal to 0 bar 2 bar and 4 bar this is the third subgroup of z6 and last subgroup of z6 is h h3 or h4 equal to z6 full z6 okay so these are the only four subgroups i hope you know how to find the subgroups so there is a method for finding subgroups you find divisors of that n and then you find n o n upon k and then you write the cyclic group generated by n upon k and this is how you will get cyclic group generated by this is the cyclic group generated by zero bar this is the cyclic group generated by three bar this is the cyclic group generated by two bar and this is nothing but the cyclic group generated by one bar because one is generator so cyclic group generated by one bar will be equal to z6 so these are easy so i could write the subgroups directly now let us draw the subgroup diagram this subgroup diagram is also called as has a diagram so what i will do is out of the four subgroups i will write the smallest subgroup subgroup which is very small that is at the very bottom stage and the largest subgroup i will write at the top stage so what is the smallest subgroup here the smallest subgroup is we know that z h1 is the smallest subgroup which is uh, nothing but what which is nothing but zero bar so which is cyclic group generated by what cyclic group generated by z now i will not write h1 h2 i will just write the cyclic subgroups okay so this is the smallest group because it contains only one element and that one element is what that one element is singleton zero who is the largest subgroup that i will write here that subgroup is generated by what that subgroup is generated by one bar which is z6 itself so the smallest subgroup at the, at the bottom and the largest subgroup at the top and now i will write the two remaining subgroups i will draw the two remaining subgroups in the diagram if you carefully look at the two subgroups h2 and h3 0 3 bar and 0 2 bar and 4 bar now here you will clearly see that 0 subgroup the subgroup generated by 0 is clearly smaller than subgroup generated by 3 correct and subgroup generated by 3 bar is clearly smaller than the subgroup generated by what the subgroup generated by one bar because this is the largest subgroup right similarly when i look at the second subgroup who is the smallest subgroup zero sub subgroup generated by cyclic subgroup generated by zero bar it is uh, smaller than it is containing less element it's than the subgroup generated by two and this person is sitting inside z6 which is generated by what one bar but there is no connection between the subgroup h1 and h2 the common element between h1 and h2 is what the common element between h1 and h2 is only identity element so i will not look at that element otherwise the elements of h1 and h2 are not matching each other correct so what we will do is we will write these two subgroups in the middle and how will i write them in middle here i have subgroup generated by 3 bar which is 0 bar and 3 bar and this is subgroup generated by 2 bar which is 0 bar 2 bar and 4 bar and i will join them because 0 subgroup is inside the subgroup 3 bar and subgroup generated by 3 bar is is also inside what it is also inside 1 bar i will not put such arrows okay the meaning of this this line is what what is the meaning of this line the meaning of if, if I draw H and if I draw K, what is the meaning of when I draw a line between between H and K? 
the meaning of line be line between h and k means what k is sitting inside h this is the meaning of this line okay i will not draw any line like this whenever i write something below the person who is below <coughs> the person who is sitting at the lower stage is always smaller and the person who is sitting at a larger at the upper stage will always be what will always be larger okay but if two people are at the same height if two people are at the same height then it means that there is no connection between the two people only one per only people which they are connected below only that is common between both of them there is no connection between two and Three. So I will not draw anything between two and three. Again, zero is sitting inside the subgroup generated by zero is sitting inside two bar, and subgroup generated by two bar is sitting inside subgroup generated by one bar. So this is called what? This is called this. I will not draw this line. See, I will not draw this line. Okay, this line is not necessary. Why this line is not necessary? Because already zero is inside three, and three is inside. One, so it automatically means that zero is also inside the subgroup generated by one bar. So I will not unnecessarily I will not increase the number of lines. Okay, for example, if I have H is sitting inside K, H is sitting inside M, then uh, how will I draw the diagram for this? I will just draw H, I will draw K, and I will draw M. I will not draw this line extra. Okay, because I know that already H is sitting inside K and K is sitting inside N. This automatically means that H is sitting inside what? H is sitting inside M. So we will omit. We will uh, try to minimize the number of lines and draw the diagram. It is understood that if zero is sitting inside three A bar and three bar subgroup is sitting inside the subgroup generated by one bar, automatically this line is there. But I will omit such thing is called as we will omit transitivity. What is transitivity? A goes to B and B goes to C. Then A goes to C. I will not. I will draw this line. I will draw this line, but I don't need to mention this thing that A is also going to C. Okay, so that we will not write. Okay. Now, now let let's take one more example. Suppose I am taking a group. Let me take another question. So draw uh, has a diagram. Or draw a subgroup diagram for of the group G equal to. Let me write that uh, thing is Z fifteen addition modulo fifteen. Okay. Now I will have to first write the subgroups. Well, now we know that fifteen has divisors. What are the divisors of fifteen? The divisors of fifteen. Are one, one, three, five, and seven. So these are the values of k, and therefore, what are the values of n upon k? It means fifteen upon k. What is n? N is fifteen. So it means it means fifteen upon one, fifteen upon three, fifteen upon five, and fifteen. Sorry, and fifteen upon fifteen. Okay. So this means the values of n upon k are what? One. Then five, three, and one. Uh, fifteen, five, three, and one. And then I will look at all these things. First is fifteen bar, first person. Second person is five bar. Third person is generated by three bar, and fourth subgroup is generated by what? Generated by one bar. Fifteen bar is nothing but zero bar, and zero bar generates only what? Zero bar generates only singleton zero. What is subgroup generated by five bar? It is zero bar, five bar, ten bar. Fifteen bar is zero. What is subgroup generated by three bar? Zero bar, three bar, six bar, nine bar, twelve bar, and fifteen bar, which is again zero. 
and what is subgroup generated by one bar subgroup generated by one bar one bar is generator so that will give me again what that will give me z15 so we got four subgroups of z15 and now what is the hazard diagram for this or what is the subgroup diagram for this the diagram will come to be what i will draw the smallest person here the smallest person is zero bar the biggest person is subgroup generated by one bar then subgroup generated by five bar and three bar is there is no connection between them neither this subgroup is inside this subgroup neither this subgroup is inside this subgroup so they are independent two subgroups okay none of them is smaller than the other this contains three elements this contains five elements but but it is not the case that this person is completely sitting inside this person it is not happening like this right so these five this five and ten is not in three six nine twelve or three six nine twelve are not the elements of the above subgroups so this means that there is no connection between them and therefore this means they are independent subgroup the sizes may be different one may be small having less number of elements one may be having larger number of elements but that doesn't matters to me right i i will only draw one below the other only if one is contained in other okay otherwise i will not draw them at different heights so this means that subgroup generated by five bar and subgroup generated by three bar they are contained in each other and zero the subgroup generated by zero is contained in subgroup generated by five and this is contained in full z15 here also zero this is contained in this and subgroup generated by three bar is contained in subgroup generated by one bar so this will become the hazard diagram for this particular group now let us take another group draw subgroup diagram for g equal to z9 modulo 9 addition modulo 9 so solution so now what are the subgroups of uh, z9 we'll clearly see that the divisors of 9 are what what are the divisors of 9 the divisors of 9 are 1 3 and 9 right therefore what will be the values of n upon k And that means 9 upon k If you put k equal to one, you'll get nine upon one. Then you'll get nine upon three, and you'll get nine upon nine. So the first subgroup will be generated by nine bar, which is zero bar, and that is nothing but singleton zero. The second subgroup is subgroup generated by three bar, which is zero bar, three bar, and six bar. Then for the third subgroup is subgroup J. Nine upon nine is one, so it is one bar, which is completely Z nine. Okay. Now what do you observe in these three subgroups? The smallest subgroup is subgroup generated by zero bar. So what is the hazard diagram now? So the smallest subgroup is subgroup generated by zero bar. The largest is subgroup generated by one bar, which is Z nine. And you see that three bar is Zero bar is clearly this, this subgroup is clearly contained in subgroup generated by three bar is clearly contained in subgroup generated by one bar. So the diagram will be very simple here. So here you will just have a three bar and here you have one bar. And see this is inside this and this is inside this. Actually it goes up. Okay, remember this. But we will not draw these arrows. We, it will be mean that the lower person. If H and K are like this, this means that H is what? H is a subset of K. Okay. So this is the subgroup for what? This is the subgroup for Z. Uh, this is the subgroup diagram for Z9. Okay. Now we will draw the uh, draw the like subgroup diagram for uh, the group G equal to Z30. Addition modulo 30. Okay, now let us find the subgroups of Z30 first. So the divisors of Z30 are one, two, three, five, six, then ten, fifteen, and thirty. These are the divisors of what? These are the divisors of 30 so how many divisors we got we got eight divisors 
So this means we will get eight subgroups of Z30. How are, what are the eight subgroups? We will first find what is N upon K. N upon K means 30 upon K, means 30 upon one, 30 upon two, 30 upon three, 30 upon five, 30 upon six, 30 upon 10, 30 upon 15, and 30 upon 30. So we will write the first subgroup now. First subgroup is 30 bar. 30 bar means zero bar, and zero bar contains only singleton zero. Next is 30 upon two, which is 15 bar. 15 bar contains zero bar and 15 bar only. Next is 30 upon three, which is 10 bar. So 10 bar contains zero bar, 10 bar, 20 bar, and 30 bar, which is zero. 30 upon five, 30 upon five is six bar. This will be written as zero bar, six bar, 12 bar, eight bar, 24 bar and 30 bar, which is zero. The next will be 30 upon six, which is five bar. And that is giving me zero bar, five bar, 10 bar, 15 bar, 20 bar, 25 bar and zero bar. Next is uh, 30 upon 10, 30 upon 10 is three. So it is three bar is equal to zero bar, three bar, 6 bar, 9 bar, 12 bar, 15 bar, 18 bar, 21 bar, 24 bar, and 27 bar with the 30 bar as a 0. And last is, uh, sorry, second last is 30 upon 15, which is 2 bar, and that is nothing but 0 bar, 2 bar, 4 bar, 6 bar, 8 bar, 9, 10 bar, 12 bar, 14 bar, 16 bar, 18 bar, 20 bar. I'm purposely writing all the elements. I know it is a lengthy task, but I'm writing them for the sake of our convenience. And last is one bar, cyclic group generated by one bar. That is entire Z30. So we have written all the eight subgroups of what? All the eight subgroups of Z3 are ready with us now, okay? Now, out of all these eight subgroups, if you carefully see that some subgroups are sitting inside some subgroups okay for example look at uh, the figure of uh, look at 15 bar generated by 15 bar and look at 15 bar uh, and look at subgroup generated by 5 bar who is contained in who which subgroup is contained in you know that this set 0 bar and 15 bar is a subset of 0 5 10 15 20 25 this means that subgroup generated by 15 bar is contained in the subgroup generated by what? Because this has only two elements and this has how many elements? This has six elements which contain zero bar and 15 bar, correct? So there is one connection between these two people. So when I'm drawing the diagram, okay, which person should be below the other person? I understand that 15 is, this, this is a subset of this means this is a smaller set. Subgroup generated by 15 bar is smaller and subgroup generated by five bar is larger. So this will be the situation when I'm drawing the diagram that five bar should be written above 15 bar, okay? So this is about this. And uh, I, can I see something more, okay? I also see that 10 bar is also, 10 bar is also smaller than 5 bar. So in my figure, 10 bar should also be below the person what? 10 bar should also be below the person subgroup generated by 5 bar because even this has only three elements, 0, 10, and 20. And 5 bar also has 0, 10, and 20, right? So this will also be the picture in my, uh, uh, this also situation I have to look at. I have to be very careful, okay? Then uh, not only that, I see that 15 is also inside the subgroup generated by three bar. So 15 is 15 bar is having only what zero bar and uh, 15 bar. And uh, this is what this is contained three bar contains zero bar and 15 bar both. So three bar should also be above what three bar should also be above 15 bar, right? 10 bar should also be below 
two bar because because ten bar has what zero, ten, and twenty. Here I have zero year, I have ten year, and I have twenty. So this means two bar person should also be above the person what above the person ten bar, right? Something more uh, difficult will be here. Look here now. When I look at six bar, what will happen to six bar? Six bar will be have will be below three bar because six bar has only what? Six bar has uh, zero, six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four. Three has all those elements: zero, six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four. So three bar will also be sitting above six bar. Not only that, six bar will also be below two bar. So two bar is also there. So right, I draw this lines because. Six bar has zero, six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four. Two bar also has zero, six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four. Twenty-four is here, right? So we have to draw the lines now so carefully that all these conditions should be satisfied, and there should be no extra lines in my figure. My figure should be very simple to understand. No extra lines. No. Double double lines should be drawn, but all these relations must be satisfied. What type of relation must be satisfied? That if something is smaller in size, or if something is having smaller uh, uh, number of elements, it should be below the person which is having larger number of elements, and it should be a subset. I will only draw the line if it is subset. If it is not subset, I will not draw the line. So what I understand is that. If you pay attention at these three numbers, five, three, and fifteen, these five, three, and fifteen, five into three is fifteen, three into two is six, and five into two is ten. So these lower three numbers, the numbers which are written below, they are actually giving rise to what? They are actually giving to these three numbers, right? And one bar and thirty bar, they are independent because one is smallest and one is largest. So the simplest thing that I can write in my head the diagram, I can draw is what first I will draw the smallest person. Who is the smallest person? The smallest person is subgroup generated by zero bar, and the largest person is subgroup generated by what? Subgroup generated by one bar. Okay. Now above this, I will write. Three people which are smaller in size. I have observed three people which are smaller in size. What are the three people which are smaller in size? Let us draw them carefully. So above zero bar, I will write fifteen bar, ten bar, and six bar because they have no connection with each other. Okay. All the three do not have any type of connection with each other, so I will write 15 bar, 10 bar, and 6 bar. Okay, now one, two, three, four, and five people are covered. Now we have to write only remaining three people. Who are the remaining three people? Five bar subgroup generated by three bar and subgroup generated by two bar. So I will write these three people I know are larger in size, and they all contain these elements. They all contain these elements, right? So I will very smartly I will write down here five bar, three bar, and two bar, and that too I will write it in a proper fashion. How will I write that? Here. I want to write them. Now, which two people? How should I write them? Should I write five, three, two, or should I write it at five, two, three, or should I write? It? I I should not write it randomly. Okay, I should be writing it very smartly. I know that two bar. We know that two into three six, right? So suppose I write. Two year, and if I write a three year, look at this. Two into three is six, right? So six bar is a person which is sitting inside two bar. If you go above, 
you will see six bar is sitting inside two bar also and six bar is sitting inside three bar also is that correct six bar is sitting inside two bar also and six bar is sitting inside three bar also so the choice for me here is what i will write here subgroup generated by five bar look at this 15 is contained in five also and 15 is contained in three also The subgroup generated by 15 is contained in 5 also and the subgroup generated by 15 is contained in 3 also. So this line I don't like. So what I will do, I will switch the places of 2 and 3. I will write 2 here and I will write a 3 here. So that this line will now be connected here. Okay. 15... Uh, 5 bar also contains 10 bar. So this will come here because we know that subgroup generated by 10 bar is contained in subgroup generated by 5 bar. Let's go in the subgroups and see it's correct or not. Subgroup generated by 10 bar is contained inside the subgroup generated by 5 bar. That's the reason that line has come. Even this line will be drawn now subgroup generated by 10 bar is contained inside subgroup generated by 2 bar because 2 bar contains 2, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, everything. And what does this contain? This contains only 0, 10 and 20. So obviously this is a subset of this. And all these three subgroups are obviously subgroups of Z10. Okay. So when I look at this particular hazard diagram, now it starts looking like a cube. If you just remove those corners. It starts looking like this. Okay, here you have zero bar, here you have 15 bar, here you have 10 bar, here you have six bar, here you have five bar, this is three bar, this is two bar, and this is one bar. So it act exactly looks like a what? It looks like a cube. This is the has a diagram for the subgroups of what? For the subgroups of Z30. Okay. 